Time for She Made It and a woman who was able to capitalize on one of the big trends of the pandem pandemic, puzzles. Today, Lifestyle contributor Jill Martin is here to explain. Good morning. Good morning. All morning I've been singing, getting jiggy with it, because I'm channeling Will Smith here, and you'll know why in a second. Kaylin Marcotte started doing puzzles as a way to unplug way back in 2014. At the time, she was putting in long hours at a media startup and desperately needed a way to unwind. So one night, while putting the pieces together, she had an aha moment that would completely change her life. Take a look. I had a puzzle lying around. I picked it up and immediately it clicked. For Kaylin Marcotte, working at a tech startup required finding ways to unplug. So I started doing about a thousand piece puzzle every week and I started posting all of my completed ones and so my friends were like, wow, Kaylin gave him the puzzle girl. Through her new hobby, Kaylin found a missing piece in the puzzle market. You say to yourself, there's something here. I really just started thinking about like, what would my dream puzzle look like? My first thought was the art itself just needs to be better. If I'm spending eight, 10, 12 hours studying every detail of this, then I want to connect with it. That led Kaylin on a mission, not only to elevate puzzles, but empower female artists as well. You're able to incorporate artists who, whose art may not be shown. Tell me how that came about. It really is an industry that is still quite unequal for female artists. So I really wanted to bake in from the beginning profit sharing and giving artists a platform to, to highlight their work, um, to have it be interacted with in a whole new way. This 360 experience of building the puzzle, wanting to be invested in the theme of the puzzle then being able to display it, which is experience that didn't exist before. Yes, completely. I've gone down these, you know, rabbit holes online <laughs> to see if people were doing this. And there were some Reddit threads of people who glue and keep all of their puzzles, but it was certainly not, um, not productized or commercialized. It felt there was something there I could really, I could really take hold of and build something around. So she did. In November 2019, with just $25,000 of savings, Kaylin officially launched Jiggy. Yes. Does everyone say to you, let's get jiggy with it? <laughs> of course, of course, yes. Right away, it was a huge success, breaking even just weeks later. But when the pandemic hit, Jiggy sold out their entire inventory. You had the opposite problem during the pandemic because businesses were struggling because of demand. You had demand, but no puzzles. <laughs> exactly. And we saw immediate spike in demand and sales and traffic. And so we tried to rush back into production, but the supply chains were affected. I'm like, I'm a five month old company. How do I still continue to grow and be relevant and build our audience when I have nothing to sell? Undeterred. Kaylin pivoted and had artists paint directly onto blank puzzles, creating one-of-a-kind pieces and much-needed merchandise. We then hosted uh, essentially an art auction, and we split the proceeds between the artist and the COVID fundraising relief efforts in New York City. Today, Jiggy has sold more than a million dollars in puzzles in all 50 states and dozens of countries. Do you ever imagine that you could make this much money and revenue in puzzles? I definitely hoped. I wasn't sure, but once I saw it clicking, I knew we were on to something. What would you say is your biggest blessing that has happened in this year and a half journey? I've just been such a steep learning curve and a million things I didn't even know that I would need to learn. But, you know, in that is kind of the most fulfilling thing too, just to, to really see how far I have come and uh, to feel good about taking a bet on myself has been really rewarding. I love talking about silver linings out of this messy year. And this spring, Kaylin even landed a deal on Shark Tank with Mark Cuban offering, offering her a half a million dollars for 15% stake in the company. So we can only assume this is just the beginning for getting jiggy with it. And guys, I even got in on the craze and actually did this jiggy puzzle with my family. I didn't quite finish yet but I plan to finish this very soon and then frame it and then put it around the house.